Okay, so Instacart is threatening to pull out of Seattle and the Seattle City Council just approved a new vote that maintains that businesses of delivery services, you know, DoorDash or Instacart will have to pay an additional payment to each shopper and driver and Instacart is freaking out. The bill had originally proposed a $5 extra payment on top of what they were already making per trip. And Instacart, you know, said that this is unconstitutional business practices and they're emailing customers and shoppers alike telling them to write to the city council and just say no to this. Well, the bill just passed, so let's see what happened. Hi guys, this is Katie Heflin with The Rideshare Guy, and I'm coming to you today to talk about the bill that just passed in Seattle that is going to give hazard pay to delivery drivers and Instacart shoppers. You know, the company itself has grown Instacart, and, sh and companies like that have grown 300% since the pandemic. Stay with me where I go over this bill and what that means for you as the shopper. The bill originally proposed um, $5, Per shopper but they decided the sponsors decided to go ahead and half that to two dollars and fifty cents an additional payment to shoppers and delivery drivers alike instacart has asked mayor jenny durkin to veto the bill according to geekwire and the rule this rule which is going to last three years after the pandemic is over in seattle so for three years um, businesses like instacart and doordash will be required to continue to pay um, an additional 250 per driver instacart is threatening to leave seattle over this bill we'll see we'll continue to keep you notified to see what happens but a lot of um Instacart workers think that it's an empty threat. They're not worried about it. Instacart has posted ads and on social media and also emails urging local customers and shoppers to contact Seattle lawmakers and um, voice their opposition to the bill. It says on Monday, the Seattle City Council is threatening to pass unconstitutional legislation that would impact Instacart's ab ability to operate in Seattle and cause significant disruption to the only affordable, accessible grocery delivery in the city. This is what Instacart said. The company said the bill's passage could impact 5,500 contract workers and 90 local stores. Earlier this month, Seattle passed a law requiring gig companies like Uber and Instacart to provide paid sick days for their contract workers. Workers collect one paid sick day for every 30 days worked, with base pay based on their average earnings. That is so cool. Apparently, Seattle has already passed this. How they're going to prove the contractor is actually sick, I, I don't understand how that works. but. Um, I like the sound of that. Seattle so far is the only city to have formally proposed hazard pay and passed a sick leave policy for gig workers. But it also said that legislators in San Francisco, San Francisco, New York, and other cities have proposed added pay and protections for on-demand and essential workers. As the pandemic continues with cases spiking in some states and virus surge threat and a virus surge threatening in the fall, the calls for additional protections could increase. This is a slap in the face. It says companies say they're already providing adequate protection and compensation for on-demand workers. DoorDash has told media outlets its minimum wage right now is 26 per active hour. That's awesome. While Instacart has pointed to its sick leave policy and protective equipment it has provided for workers, false. Instacart has also instituted steps like contactless payments at stores and doorstep delivery. So I applied for sick leave. Um, I was sick about two months ago and I thought I had COVID. And um, in their emails, it stated that if you have, um, if you are put on a 14 day quarantine or if you get, you know, Corona, um, 
we will pay 14 days sick leave. This was two to three months ago that I applied. I sent maybe 10 emails to them about my doctor note that put, had put me on a 14 day quarantine. Didn't receive one email back, not one. I don't think Instacart paid anyone for their sick leave, not one person, which is such a slap in the face. Also, I ordered protective equipment about three months ago. I have not received it. it says workers have criticized Instacart over difficulties securing their equipment and getting approved for temporary paid leave. I mean, no one even answers the, the email. This article says that Instacart last week announced it has received 225 million in new funding. So Instacart has attempted to paint the measure as a legislative overreach while still displaying compassion for workers and consumers. Okay, you can say a lot of things, but action means a lot more. The letter sent to shoppers said workers would lose access to immediate flexible income that residents sheltering in place could lose access to grocery and prescription drug delivery, and that more than 90 beloved neighborhood and regional stores across Seattle may be unable to serve customers. What they're not saying is that there's always Amazon, right? <laughs> this article also says that grocery companies have had to balance business realities with the public's high regard for store and warehouse workers, as well as delivery drivers. Many retailers implemented hourly and one-time bonuses early in the pandemic and are now having to decide if they'll extend those bonuses or let them end. Kroger faced significant backlash last month when it announced it would end its hourly pay bumps for its more than 400,000 workers. So tell me, what do you guys think about this? I have a love-hate relationship with Instacart, but I have noticed, you know, working with Instacart for four years that there's a lot of shady things that they do. I mean, there's a whole group on Facebook dedicated to bringing Instacart down because of all the you know, alleged mistreatment and changes in policies. And it just almost feels like as if they're trying to screw the shopper. Do you think Instacart is going to stay um, in Seattle? Or do you think they're gonna pull out? What do you guys think about Instacart? Just not wanting to pay their shoppers hazard pay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave comments below. What do you think? Let me know. If you're still interested in signing up for Instacart, our referral link will be below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. We make new videos every week. And email us if you have any questions or leave a comment below. Thank you so much. Be well, be blessed.